your boy Johnny here and today I have actually a very different, unusual uh, thing that I want to do. Today I saw, you guys probably already know this makeup artist called Spencer, I think his channel is called Makeup by Spencer and he's so amazing, he usually kills it and I always want to recreate his looks, never did. So let's start. So um, he was he started by priming the skin with the fresh rose something. I am going to use the Farsali Quench Moisture Serum. Okay. Here I am. I'm going to use my fingers. Ooh, in here is quite a bit in my in my cheeks. And of course, you guys, I'm a man. The, the beautiful, gorgeous model that he, that he uh, you know, the model for the video, she is a freaking princess. It's not at all me trying to look as good as her, because that's not gonna happen. Okay. Uh, Wet and Wild, stick foundation. And of course, later on, you're gonna still finesse it with a sponge and just go everywhere take your time so let's go in with uh, he uses kind of a bronzer foundation like a darker foundation or a darker concealer to bronze and sculpt the face he didn't do contour and then bronzer he just did kind of a bronzer and I love this shade the shade uh, chestnut by um, Wet n Wild like I said before because it really works well in like bringing out your cheekbones. Try to be as uh, like symmetric as possible. I'm gonna do a little bit over here. Well, this is kind of a little too dark for and here it's very important that he like kinda like lifts the eye like this. There's something really nice about the way he contours and shapes people's faces. So this is it before I blend it. So I really like to use a sponge for this reason. I'm going to start in here under my chin. I usually don't go I usually don't do my makeup like this, so I'm trying to follow his steps as much as possible. So let's go for, for blush, and he also used a liquid brush, I don't remember the brand. And I'm gonna go with my favorite one, Honest Beauty Brush for Blush. This is like a highlighting brush, I don't, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there is something about his contour that is very specific. That he does that thing on top of your nose where you just like... Okay. Let's see what he did there. He, now we have to we have to highlight the under eye of course I'm gonna go with my I said drugstore so I'm gonna stick to it as much as possible and I'm gonna go for a elf cosmetics uh, concealer this is the HD concealer so let's go there and just so what I like to do try to follow his technique but um, I also know how my face is, so I feel like what I like to do in terms of like nose contour is to shape the nose like this. Okay. And I don't want I don't like also to make my nose look small because I think the man uh, men sometimes can benefit from having uh, a wider nose. Like I think they can make a, a man's face look more beautiful and stronger. Let's jump straight into brow. I have here Steel Drugstore, the mascara 
is an eyebrow, ultimate eyebrow, ultimate brow from Wet n Wild. I better step up. Do you see how beautiful? Like, do, do I don't feel the need to go over with more product. It's like, when the the is, I like my eyebrows. So, but what I will do here is just simply put some of this beautiful shade over here. Is it a name? Is it called Jasper? No, it's not. It's called Amaha Amahara, whatever. This one. Ooh, it's such a beautiful texture, such a beautiful shade. And I just want to like give a little bit of depth. I'm not gonna go like on with um, a cut crease or anything, because the the whole drama of this look is the the liner. So okay. So this is all I will do for the eye. Very subtle. However, the drama comes now. So, I, you, you probably, like me, have more than one black shadow. You probably have liners, pencil liners, and I, all the options uh, can work. All The only thing that I feel like is important is to use something that you can manipulate a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is to start painting right over here. Do you see that? Hmm. Huh. And then it's gonna be just like a, a normal liner. I, I, I alone, this is just makes my whole face like whoa, come, come alive. Okay, so here we are with the base. I didn't do the wing yet. Just to like, how can we make a wing that is symmetrical? And I tend to believe that if you start from the bottom up and create the shape you want, just that, not a lot, you, it's just easier to follow the angle of the bottom. Okay, so now we're gonna connect. But I'm not gonna reapply the black shadow because I want to smoke it out a little. Okay, I think this is it. Oh no, oh, 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 oh no, 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 sir. So off camera, I just did my eyelashes and I used this one also that came, it's not drugstore came in my boxy charm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is the look. I will finish only with um, highlighter. And then I go here. Oh yeah, he goes on and he does the whole highlighting thing. So I didn't do all of the things that he does. I didn't do all the steps, but this is my finished look. Yeah. This is the look. And if you guys liked it, if you guys want me to recreate looks from other makeup artists and see if it works for, for boys, let me know. I kind of feel like I need to finish with something on my lips. Another drugstore, Elf Cosmetics, Lip Lacquer, Lacquer, and this one has a little bit of a, a, t a tint to it. Oh man, it feels delicious. Has no fragrance, oh well, does it? It has a little bit of a fragrance. So I appreciate you guys staying with me all this time. If you like this video, you guys know, hit this like button and subscribe. And this is just gonna help me immensely. And I'm gonna take some photos and probably, you know, try to get some footage outside because I'm not going anywhere. Like I'm this is I'm, this is just for just for you and me, just for us to have fun. And yeah, I really like the 
the drama because like you know suddenly I feel like my eyes are big and my eyes are tiny okay guys thank you f again and see you guys next time bye